Welcome back to the program, and we have a brand new club to tell you it's about. It's the Broadway Music Lovers Club, and I want to welcome Elisa Kaplan Center and Kate Barkley to the program. Hi. Thank you guys for joining us. Thanks for Hi. having us. Thank you. So I guess the obvious question is, how did you guys decide to start this club, and what was the process like? Well, we uh, met at an audition for Old Pros, and it turned mm -hmm. out that we um, had a lot of friends in common. Elisa went to um, the High School of Performing Arts fame in New York City, mm -hmm. and many of my friends who are also in show business like myself decided to go to Emerson College, which is where I got my BFA in acting. There you go. So we met, we started talking, turned out we knew a lot of people. We love Broadway. Mm -hmm. um, we're both union actresses, so we worked in that kind of thing, and turned out we live on the same street. So, <laughs> just a few cul-de-sacs down, in walking distance to the Performing Arts Center and Trader Joe's. Well, there you <laughs> go. The two key elements of yes. any community. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then um, I went to Boston University, mm -hmm. and I studied mathematics and computer science because I needed to make a living doing something so I could be in show business at the same time. <laughs> so we just, you know, we started to walk together along the creek. And all we did was talk about Broadway and musicals and, you know, things we've done, things we were in, things we've seen. And we went on our first trip together two years ago to New York, and all we did was see Broadway shows. Mm -hmm. So we were like, hey. There's really nothing here mm -hmm. about specifically Broadway shows. We have the old pros and we, we have, have the old pros theater and the theater guild, those kinds of things. Yeah, but they're really performance-based. Right. And we were like, you know, people love theater that aren't performers. Mm -hmm. We wanted to have something where they could learn about it, so like a TED Talk or a um, Rose Scholar thing, mm -hmm. and then some examples, so like a salon singing, that kind of thing. And it's been amazing, the response that we have gotten just because we didn't uh, um, get approved until just a few months ago. Yeah, yeah and the process once we, of that yeah. takes a little while, right? And yeah. also, like, we did our marketing materials, and we did our application on the back of the flyer, and we've already gotten over 40 members, and we haven't even had our first oh, wow. meeting yet. People are calling, they're emailing, they're passionate, they're from the East Coast. Oh, wow, I love Broadway, or I've never been to New York, and I mm -hmm. want to go. Mm -hmm. So we're working on a couple of interesting things. Our first meeting, which is on June 13th, Thursday, at 5.30 in the dining room number two at um, the PAC, the Performing Arts Center, will focus on bringing in a Broadway film and television actress from New York. Oh, wow. She's going to perform. I'm a classically trained pianist. I'm going to accompany her. We've been practicing from New York you know, by FaceTime. Oh, it's good to see you. Yeah, she's going to see a couple of Broadway show tunes and then tell stories about all of her life experience with producers, writers, and directors. Mm -hmm. And then Kate and I will talk a little bit. We'll present who we are. And then we'll talk a little bit about the focus of the future meetings. Oh, okay. one of the things that we're here really. We Do I even need to be here? You guys just go. <laughs> 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 you guys just bouncing off each other pretty well. This is what happens all the time. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, it's 3 in the afternoon. How did that happen? <laughs> Well, you can come. You don't have to be a performer, even though you are one. There you go. You don't have to be a singer, even though, I don't know, you might be one. But you can come and enjoy it. And, and the whole thing was, we're getting all these messages, and, and everyone asks, do I have to perform? Do I have okay, to perform? Right. That fear we, factor there. The, the fear factor. We're like, no, you can actually just sit and mm -hmm. watch. And also, in our first meeting, we're going to do something a little bit different. There are going to be prizes they can win. Um, we've got gift certificates to restaurants. We've got all kinds of things. Because that's a fun, fun tone early. Totally. Right? Yeah. That's, that's great. Yeah. And you don't have to you know, live in the village. We can have a certain percentage of people that don't live in the village to come and partake in it. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, if anybody's interested, please reach out. And you know we're available. You can text us at those phone numbers also. Sure. And um, we're just really excited because, you know, Everybody who's ever seen a Broadway show or even a movie of a show and love to enjoy what music does to them and what theater does, we're going to New York tomorrow. And we're actually going to see four Broadway shows, of which I think three are Tony nominated. Oh, wow. And we're going to go. We're going to review them. We're staying in Midtown. We're seeing some of our showbiz friends. And we're going to bring back that excitement and that love and that passion of Broadway. Well, let me ask you that. There, musical theater 
is probably the most popular form of theater. It's the top, the top shows ever. If you have to name five Broadway shows, it'll be mostly musical theater. Yeah, numbers. yeah, yeah. What is, what, is, what is it about musical theater that is just, it raises the level and it really gets so many people excited? Like you say, people who don't even want to perform, they want to be part of this. Well, what's, what's interesting is music is really a core thing. Mm -hmm. And it, it um, erupts uh, emotions and feelings that a lot of times, it sounds strange, but the vibrations from music vibrate within you and that gets your emotions going. So people are just taken along the path. It's so true. It resonates in a Absolutely. way, right? Absolutely. Exactly yeah. that. Yeah, I recently bought a piano and it's smack in the middle of my living room and dining room. And I have to tell you that when I play piano, and Kate's there a lot, we have coffee together, we're rehearsing songs. When, like just this morning, I was transposing a song. When I played those keys, and it came through me, yeah. I felt happy and joy and mm -hmm. peace. And if I leave my screen door open, and somebody's walking by, they always pop their head in, especially if my neighbors don't know that I'm a musician. Mm -hmm. And you know, when I said, hey, you know, come, it's, it just brings so much joy, mm -hmm. and it changes the pace of where you are in the moment when you hear a song. Right, right, and you think of something like Phantom of the Opera, mm -hmm. the, this the bounding music Absolutely. of that, and, and, the, and the feeling that it gets. I mean, you could read the lyrics to that, and you kind of go, okay, but then you okay. hear it, and, and the music accompaniment, and it just, it, it's, it's another level of kind of enjoyment or, or meaning to it that just the words alone can't do. Well, it, it, it also, music, and you can see this with movies, Music tells you mm -hmm. what you're feeling or what you're going to feel. It right. gives you a preempt mm -hmm. of maybe what's coming up. Right. It can be a fun yes. kind of uplift, or it can be a very serious tone, or, or you like to think of the music in Psycho, just all right. horrible strings. You know, Jaws. This is, this is going to be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and like, you know, a few of the shows that we're going to see this week, mm -hmm. one of them is Alicia Keys' story of her life. Oh, I it's saw that It's called Hell's preview. Kitchen. Oh, wow. Uh, we're also going to see The Notebook. The Notebook was a beautiful book, mm -hmm. and this and musical movie. is going to be amazing. It's actually, I understand, three different age groups of the couples in the book. Okay. So I'm so excited because seeing the written word and knowing that script writers and musical directors and all those pieces, those parts come together, mm -hmm. and once that musical is out there and it's produced, and it's just the excitement. When you go into those theaters in New York, you know, the, the seats are real tight. You're sitting close together, but you all know that you're gonna have three hours of pure joy. Mm -hmm. And when you leave, you're just so happy. Yeah. Now, both of you are performers. What was it like for both of y'all, I'll ask you both answer the same question for me, your first time performing in a, in a musical? What was that like for you in terms of being a performer, not an audience member? Uh, let's see, uh, the first time I performed, Formed uh, in a musical, I was probably nine, mm, eight. Did you do it in your backyard, or was yeah. it? A <laughs> no, it was at school. I was a dancer. Okay. I was a dancer, so I started there, and you know, created my little persona. But performing as a performer in a musical, musical, um, probably in high school, mm -hmm. and it combined with my dance just ignited the mm -hmm. passion mm -hmm. of, you know, every time I hear music, I move. It makes me move, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so that's neat. But I know Elisa started Elisa? even well, earlier. Well, my mom is a Broadway television actress, mm -hmm. and when I was nine, I auditioned for an off-Broadway musical called The Milligan Breakfast Show, and it was an industrial where you sang and danced and modeled all of the products. And there were some really famous people in the show, Cheetah That's Rivera, Anne Reinking, Tommy Toon. I was nine. And I got in it, and all we did for six weeks was rehearse morning till night, and we did the show for a month every morning. Call was 6 a.m., we had breakfast, we danced and sang till 9 a.m., took a bus and went to elementary school. <laughs> so, but it was- Bam. In, yeah, totally. <laughs> but you know, so it was in my blood. And I just love music, and I went to conservatory, and I just studied all the different parts of the craft. And I'm feeling really lucky because I'm a dancer also, but the reason we're together is because we're creating this together. You know, I can sit down and play a song, and she can sing it and move. Mm -hmm. 
And you know, we we are so excited to bring that joy to everybody. Well, yeah. it's in your blood. Where as we wrap up, I want to make sure people know Thursday, June thirteenth, at the Performing Arts Center, Clubhouse Three, Dining Room Two, five thirty. That will be the inaugural meeting of the Broadway Music Lovers Club. Lisa and Kate, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. You're watching this day. We'll be right back.